What's up guys, Mumble Elite here, back with another video. This time, it's part 2 of the future of Call of Duty. Now, if you didn't see part 1, I'd suggest you pause this video right now and go check it out. And if you didn't pause the video, I take it you've already seen part 1, so I'll begin. Okay, so last episode, I started ending talking about what I think the future of Call of Duty would be like in terms of game. What game do we want? And I said, I think like a Modern Warfare 4, a new Modern Warfare game would be a good way to go. But here's the thing. I also thought maybe a remastered would be a good way to do, do it. You know, make a new Modern Warfare 2 for the new console or a new Black Ops 1. That kind of thing. It doesn't have to be this year, the upcoming year. I'm talking about the future of Call of Duty. What we want to see or what I want to see. And personally, Remastering a game for the new console, I don't think will solve the problems that people have right now. Yes, it's a blast from the past, and I feel like people would have fun with it. But do you really want to buy? Well, I'd definitely buy it, but do you want to play a game for a full year that you've already played? I don't know if that would be a good thing for people. I mean, yes, we want to feel the same way we did when we were little playing the Call of Duty games, whether that's Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Modern... COD 4, Modern Warfare, whatever game you played when you were younger, I don't know if we want the same exact one. Maybe we go on routes of like a Modern Warfare 4, where we get some of the same weapons, brand new maps, you have maybe some maps that are the same, like Terminal, I know that map was so good, and Russ, definitely, put the intervention in that game, you'll make everybody happy, because the amount of 1v1s people would be doing, it'd be great. And it's not that hard to do. I know I'm not a game developer, but just look at the direction Call of Duty is going. I feel like if they want to keep it a big game, they have to tailor to their fans who've been playing it the whole time. Not just the new guys who jump in and are like, okay, this is a Destiny, Halo, Call of Duty-esque game that's thrown all together and now it's a super Call of Duty. Yes, I like this game, but I really would prefer the older Call of Duties. And I feel like a lot of people feel that way about it, but like I said, we're not game designers. It's hard for us to say one thing, but they need to keep into perspective that it's a hard process to do, you know? You're trying to add new things to a game, but at the same time, you're trying to keep the things that people like about the old games. And... You know, it's not going to be perfect. No Call of Duty is perfect, I think. Even the best Call of Duties, whatever one of your favorite is, you'll find flaws in the game. And I think we just need to throw that out the window. We need to expect there's going to be a flaw in the game. But I want to see work going into a new one. I want to see them interacting with us and saying, hey, what do you want? And actually taking it to heart and putting it into a new game. Because regardless, I'm going to spend the 60 bucks and get a new Call of Duty every year. I'm going to do it. It's just me. Even if I play it for a month like I did Ghost, I even got it late. I'm like, oh crap, I didn't get Ghost the day it came out. I totally forgot about it. I wasn't expecting that I was going to get the game. I was like, huh. I watched the race to um, Prestige Master or whatever it is, Max Prestige. And the race people... Looked like they were enjoying the game, so I got it, and I just didn't enjoy it for that long, and I felt like it was a waste of a year. I know a lot of people didn't really like Ghost, and probably would not want a Ghost 2 coming out in 2016, but who knows? This is just my opinions. If you got any questions, put down in the comments. I can further voice my opinion on things, but I think that's going to be it, guys. End of the video. Future Call of Duty. I've been reading and I'm out. Peace.